there's a lifetime deal that's just dropped and it's a screen recorder it's called i show you and on this video we're going to review it with no bs so let's go check it out what's up everyone my name is george and i want to review i show you for you because it's on a lifetime deal and it's tempting to go buy it because it's so affordable now the idea is to show you if it's a good fit or not so you can just go ahead and skip it or buy it the deal starts off at $19 and you have a 60 day money back guarantee, which is always a good thing to know, because if you go ahead and test it and you don't like it, just go ahead and refund it and get your money back. All right. Now, what are you going to get with $19? Well, you're going to get license tier one, which is $19 for a single license. You get the pro built in features. So basically all the features available with the paid plan. If you need more license simultaneous machines, jump into license tier two or three. License tier three gets you 250 simultaneous machines. I mean, if you're a company with a huge team and you have a bunch of them using the app, then that's a good fit. I don't know who would need that many uh, accounts simultaneously, but that's the option. Or maybe you want to share this with someone. That's a good option. But if not, license tier one is more than enough. You can go ahead and install it on other computers and you can just jump into another one if you're not using it at the same time. Right. And if you are going to do that, jump into license tier two. Now, let's go talk about the things that I dislike. The first thing you need to know about I show you is that it's only available for Mac. That's a big downside. And the second thing that I really dislike about it is it doesn't have a video editor. Now, normally with the screen recorder is that you record a video and you stop it and then it jumps that video into an editor where you can chop in the front and add some transitions and just some basic editing features. Well, with I show you, you don't have any editing features. Okay, so it's just going to record the screen. And it's going to have that video ready once you are done. Now, I do love the settings that it provides you, but it doesn't have that editing feature. So do consider that when buying this deal. OK, so in this case, I already have I show you ready here and I already have I show you installed here. Now, right now you have two options. You can record the entire screen, which is the same that would happen with the applications. But with applications, you can select what you want to record. I think this is the biggest highlight of this deal is being able to record only screens that you want to show in this case applications. So for example, in my case, I have four applications available right now and I can record, for example, my Chrome, uh, Chrome browser and the finder. And right now I have Spotify open, but if I go ahead and open up Spotify, if I bring it to the top, I don't want it to record it. And that's what's going to happen in this case. So I'm going to confirm selection and it's going to record these two. Okay. Next option I have is the canvas size. So I do like that you have 4K available here with different type of sizes. So you got 4K video, which is what traditionally, traditionally we're going to use. But 4K screen is available also. You got 1080p, 720, 1080p inverted and the old school. All right. So in this case, I'm going to use the 4K. Here we go. And then I have the option to show the cursor in case I do record camera, which is always nice. You can go ahead and select the background for it, remove background and flip it all from here. So let me go ahead and remove the background. In this case, I have a Chroma screen, so that should be super easy to uh, remove the background, but it does use it with normal back, normal background, right? Then you got your recording audio. So in this case, the volume for the recording, the recording microphone. In this case, I have several microphones. I'm going to use the built in microphone because I'm using it for the other recording that I'm doing for this video and the volume for that one. Okay. Then you have the output and timer. Now, normally you don't get these type of settings on screen recorders, on basic screen recorders. You do get the option for the type of codec of the video. So HEVC, H264 and Motion JPEG. And you get options that are removed with something H264. For example, you are not able to periodically save this. OK, so for example, during the video, it's going to be saving periodically if you have the HEVC, which obviously I would use that because it's going to be safer to use. The render FPS, I can go ahead and do 64 or select exactly what I want to use for the FPS. In this case, up to 60 FPS is available and I'm going to enable MP4. Then you have the scale for this. You can lower the quality and down here you get an idea of the bits that you're going to be megabits that you have for this video, which is going to record, for example, 4K, but with less quality, which is going to save you rendering time and the end size of this video, right? After recording, so it's going to send it to this specific folder. I would send it to the desktop. That would be much easier to find. And then you got your start recording. You have options to start recording at a certain time and stop at a certain time. So you can set this to, to specific times, right? So if you need to start in three seconds, 10 seconds, one minute, etc., you got those options there, which I think are pretty unique in one of these deals, right? Then you have the preview for this. And why do you need the preview? As I mentioned before, you don't have the option to edit the video after it's been recorded. 
So in this case, I can see there's an issue here. Well, sort of, I'm over here. The, the camera of the laptop is a little bit upwards, but it is working for the removal. So in this case, I can make my head bigger, make it smaller, etc. And if I don't want to remove the background, I can do here, just go ahead and remove that and come to the preview and it's back. So as I mentioned before, the laptop is pointing a little bit up. That's why you can't see me there, okay? So I definitely need to size everything correctly here before I start recording, because as I mentioned, we won't be able to edit this video afterwards. So I think that's a really bad decision by this company. They should offer a really simple editor. I mean, I, I just wanna trim the, the, the beginning, trim the end, maybe add a transition somewhere else, remove something in the middle, and that's all, and I want to edit. And that's something I would like to potentially see here. So let me go ahead and edit this a bit. Let me see if I can edit the center. No, I cannot edit in the center. Let me go see if I can move this to my liking. Let me hit shift. Nope, still don't have the option. So I'll need to just zoom in or zoom out. Really bad option there, okay? So I need the option to hold command and just stretch it the way I would like so it can fit the 4K screen here. And then I need to decide where I want my face or make it smaller or whatever. Big turnoff for me is that, for example, if I'm reviewing something and something is on that corner and I'm hitting it with that video, well, I can't move it later on. It's stuck there. That's all. If I use something else, for example, I'm using ScreenFlow for this video, I can move myself later on on the screen. So left, right, in case I don't want to hide something. And that's post editing after I record. You don't have that option there, okay? So let's just say hypothetically that this is fine. We're gonna start recording. You get a three second countdown and you're good to record. So in this case, I'm recording the screen and I'm gonna open Spotify. Here we go, that shouldn't be recorded. Then I'm gonna open up the finder, which should be recorded. Going back to the screen here. And let me go ahead and stop this, all right? So once I stop it, Let's hit play. Let me remove the volume there. So the Spotify should pop up now, but it doesn't because I've selected it, so it doesn't show. Finder should be popping up, here we go. But the Spotify app didn't pop up. That's what has it going on for me for I show you. That's something that I do really like about it. Uh, aside from that, I think it's lacking many features in my perspective, okay? Then you have your options for the settings. Go into settings several settings available that you wanna go through before you get started. So you have everything that you're gonna to need set up. So for example, hide apps when recording, show countdown timer, set the duration, just kind of those little things that you wanna set up, right? Shortcuts, so you know when to stop or start the video without having to go click on it. The software updates, in this case, it's already updated. You got your prompts available here. And permissions, you wanna make sure that everything is permitted on your Mac. In this case, I haven't given it accessibility, so it's not going to be able to, to for example, record keystrokes in this case, right? So that is, I show you. I mean, for $19, I think it's completely fine being able to record specific apps, especially when you have that need, but the lack of post editing features are a big turnoff for me. Now they do have another application, which is I show you studio, but that is not on this deal, right? So that would be definitely aside from that, you get a free trial or you can go ahead and buy it but that's additional to this deal right here. So right now you're only gonna get the I show you V6 on this deal, all right? So do consider that you will get all future uh, custom plan updates, which is always a plus, but definitely do consider that. I mean, not being able to edit video afterwards is a turn off for me. So it's up to you if you just want a screen recorder, that's gonna be good to go as soon as you hit record and stop, fine, that's the good for you, right? But if you need to edit that trim in the beginning, the end, something like that, you won't be able to do that unless you go ahead and open up another application to edit videos, right? So there you go. That is I show you. If you like this video, do consider using that link in the description, which is an affiliate link. So if you buy through that link, it helps me out with a small commission and it's not going to cost you a single cent more than what it says already there. So that's a wrap.